Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to attach crystals to your macrame projects using wire. I'll be attaching this piece of quartz and the piece I'm using is about an inch and a quarter or about three and a half centimeters long. And I'm just using this craft wire. I don't think the gauge really matters a lot. You just want it to be the bendable kind that stays bent when you bend it. And this is just cheap craft wire from the craft store. I have my pieces that are about eight inches long and you'll just need two pieces for this. So see, it's about eight inches long and you're gonna take these two pieces and just cross them right in the center. Just hold them together and then we're gonna twist the two pieces of wire together in the middle uh, three or four times just so they're nice and attached. And it'll depend on how wide across your crystal is, how much you want to twist it. You just want this to sit nicely on the front of your crystal. So I'll show you what I mean. So figure out how you're going to want it to sit. And then this is just going to go right on the front like that. And then we're going to take the bottom two wires here. We're going to bring them around to the back. And you want to twist them and you want it to come down under um, where it starts to narrow there so that it holds the crystal in place and it won't just slide out. So you're just going to kind of pinch it right down there. And once you get it right where you want it, you're just going to twist three or four times, however many times it takes to get it really nice and secure. And it can be a little fiddly at first, um, but once you get this first one in, it's not too bad. All right, so I got that part twisted there. You can see I just did a few twists and then I'm moving that wire out of the way and grabbing the two top pieces of wire. And you're gonna do the same thing, but kind of closer to the top. So you just bring it around at the back like this. And then again, you're just gonna pinch it together and twist it three or four or five times, however many feels secure to you. And now to make it a little bit more secure, we're going to take one of these top wires and it really doesn't matter which one you want to use, but you're just going to take that and wrap it all the way around the top of your crystal. And that'll give it a little bit more support there in the top and then twist those wires together to secure that in place. And just make sure when you're twisting, you don't accidentally untwist your wires from before, but just keep twisting. A little bit until it's nice and secure. There we go. And that will hold it in place a lot better. And it will look better once we get it attached to our macrame piece. It'll all kind of hold together better. But we just want to make sure that it is pretty secure and isn't going to fall out later. Then we're just going to kind of open up the pieces of wire a little bit get them straightened out so it's easier to attach to our macrame piece. And in this case, it's gonna be a plant hanger. And then I will show you how to do that. All right, here's my macrame plant hanger and I'm just gonna be attaching my crystal right to the middle of this diamond. And I'm just gonna thread it right through on either side of the two center cords. So on this side and then over on this side. So I'm just going to carefully thread the wires through and this is kind of tricky because they're long and they want to just go where they want to go, but <laughs> do your best and try not to accidentally thread it through the, you know, the little tiny pieces of the cord in the wrong spot, but just thread your wires through there. And then once you get them threaded through all the way, you're going to turn it around and you're just gonna locate the bottom two wires and the top two wires, and then twist them each together. So do the bottom pair first and just twist it really good and tight against the macrame, um, whatever, your, whatever macrame piece you're working on. And then do the same with the top two wires. So just make sure it's still where you want it. You might have to move things around a little bit and then turn it back around and twist that piece nice and secure. And the good thing about this wire, since it's bendable, you can really kind of manipulate it around a little bit as you go. Then once you get those done, I like to take both sets and twist them together. 
and just do that until you've twisted a pretty good long little piece there. Make sure the front looks good. And then once you're happy with it, you're gonna grab a pair of wire cutters and mine are like wire cutters with needle nose jewelry pliers. Then you're just gonna wanna cut the wire there just past where you twisted it. And you'll have this little pointy part sticking off. So then you're gonna take the needle nose pliers and twist it around so that there's nothing dangerous sticking out and no one gets poked with it. And then I just like to kind of twist it up and tuck it all down so that it's not in the way and it's not sticking out and it is nice and safe that way. And there you go, your crystal is attached now and you can just repeat that with all the rest of them. And this works for a wall hanging or a plant hanger or really any project that you wanna attach crystals to. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching!